Hi, welcome to Reacts with Jax. I'm Jax, and today I am reacting to The Avengers Age of Ultron. I am so excited for this. This has been a movie that I've been waiting for for all of phase two. I've never seen this movie. So after having seen Captain America Winter Soldier, we even have some new people coming into the mix. And so I'm interested to see if the Winter Soldier is going to be in this movie, if the Falcon's going to be in this movie. I want a little bit of closure with that storyline, hopefully. Um, and I really hope the Falcon's in here because he's one of my new favorites. Um, we also know that S.H.I.E.L.D. is completely compromised, so I'm excited to see what they do with the storyline. I don't want to talk too much before getting into it, so I'm just going to remind you to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss my next upload, and like this video if you enjoy this content because it really supports my channel. Let's get started! Okay, that's Loki's staff. This is not a drill. We are under attack. So where did... Loki's staff go. I can't remember who had it or what happened to it. Oh, that's Natasha and Hawkeye. Very cool. Thor, okay. That's right, because Thor was hanging out with Jane on Earth. Captain America. Actually, that's the Hulk. You've told me that they're two separate people. <laughs> oh my God, what a cool shot. What a cool shot. Right as Iron Man comes in. Shit, language. Yeah, Tony. Not in front of Lammy. Protected by some kind of energy shield. Struck as technology that's well beyond any other Hydra base. We I imagine it's protected by the Tesseract. I mean, not the Tesseract. Loki's little staff. I love how they introduce everyone. It's so cool. Oh, she took down two people at once. Okay. Yeah. I think we lost the element of surprise. <laughs> yeah. I'm also just gonna deal with the fact that Cap just said language. I know. The banter during these fight scenes is so entertaining. Hydra research base. Oh, okay, so they're going around attack. taking care of Hydra. The Avengers. Very cool. They have to be after the scepter. Can we hold them? The, the Avengers. The <laughs> <laughs> I love that that guy is just so aware of how powerful they are. They're the Avengers. You can't hold them. The city is taking fire. We know Strucker's not going to worry about civilian casualties. Strucker. I don't, I don't recall hearing that name, but maybe I have before in a previous movie. We wish to avoid collateral damage and will inform you that this current conflict is resolved. We are here to help. Do those people speak English? No surrender! I vote you do I'm surrender. to surrender, you will delete everything. <laughs> what was that? Is that a person? You didn't see that coming? That's him? What? Oh, you did not just try and hit Captain America. Okay, you are not killing Clint. Somebody want to deal with that bunker? Thank you. Thank you. Yep. You see a power source for that shield? There's a possible way above the North Tower. Great, I want to poke it with something. I feel like Jarvis is an honorary Avenger. Because he's just so awesome and he goes with Tony everywhere. Draw bridges down, Awesome. People. Good job, Tony. What was that magic? He's a blur. All the new players we faced, I've never seen this. In fact, I still haven't. Clint's hit pretty bad, guys. It's like they're lining up. Well, they're excited. Now that is what we call team work. For gosh sake, watch your language. That's not going away anytime soon. No. <laughs> and I'm here for that. <laughs> 
Guys, stop. We gotta talk this through. I'm curious if that guy who's really fast, it seems like he might be one of their super soldiers because that guy was like, they're not ready yet. So maybe they haven't been like fully experimented on. I think it's a banner. Time for a lullaby. Was this the same place from that post credit scene? And an air current. Please be a secret door. Please be a secret door. Please, Please be, a secret, be door. a secret door. Oh, I would love, I would love a secret door in my house that I knew about, not that was secret from me. <laughs> hey, big guy. Sun's getting real low. Oh, she was so afraid of him the last time. That must feel like such an accomplishment for her, no longer being terrified of the Hulk. Baron Strucker, Hydra's number one thug. Really? Okay. Technically, I'm a thug for S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah. Where's Loki's scepter? Don't worry, I know when I'm beat. You will mention how I cooperated. Oh, that's so creepy. How many are there? What? How? You'll have to be faster than that. <laughs> I'm confused. I think I'm supposed to be. Bigger. Oh, that was from the Avengers. That creepy, like, ship that was both alive and not. You guys explained it to me in the comments and I appreciated it, <laughs> but I still don't. <laughs> it's a, it's a bit of a mystery to me what it is. Thor, I got eyes on the prize. Oh, she's behind you. Oh, she's behind you. Why? I don't know what sound just came out of me. That was oh, terrifying. We all knew that was scary. That was very scary. <laughs> okay. What? This is fake. It's Tony's worst fear that he wouldn't step up to the plate, right? Oh, and it's Steve that said it. You do want. Oh, not, okay, why are you always appearing behind him? God. This is the wormhole. I hate you. Can we agree on that? I'm just gonna let them take it. I don't... Okay, her emotions. I am not understanding them. <laughs> I wasn't sure if when she saw that, she was like, wait, maybe Tony's not a bad person? Cause she was like, stop. But then she seems happy that he's gonna take it. Like it's gonna lead to his worst fear or something. Maybe, I don't, maybe that's, it can't possibly be the future because that was that little wormhole he went through in the first movie and he did step up to the plate. So I think his fear is that he wouldn't live up to that version of himself. Just wasn't expecting a code green. If you hadn't been there, there would have been double casualties. Are we calling him hulking out a code green now? Thor, report on the Hulk. The gates of hell are filled with the screams of his victims. Wounded screams, mainly whimpering, uh, <laughs> complaining, and tales of sprained deltoids and, and, uh, and gout. Gout? Tell her to prep everything. Barton's going to need the full treatment. Very good, sir. Jarvis, take the wheel. Yes, sir. Jarvis can drive now, too. He's very multifaceted. Benner and I will give it the once over before it goes back to Asgard. Is that cool with you? In just a few days till the farewell party. Hopefully, this puts an end to the Chitari and Hydra, so. Yes, Ruffles. 
So it sounds like we're kind of bringing everything we learned about phase one to a close. And Hydra, maybe, maybe in this movie we defeat Hydra. I say we like I'm doing something. I'm scared watching them. I can't even imagine being them. I love that Tony kept that tower, the Avengers Tower. Wanda and Pietro Maximoff, twins. Orphaned at 10 when a shell collapsed their apartment building. She's got increased metabolism and improved thermal homeostasis. Her thing is neuroelectric interfacing, telekinesis, mental manipulation. They have very different powers. They volunteered for Strucker's experiments. It's nuts. What kind of monster would let a German scientist experiment on them to protect their country? Steve always see, sees things so clearly. Steve has a fast metabolism too. So I'm wondering if any part of his experimentation was kind of like used with them. And I'm also curious to know if like when she does her magic, it comes out red. I'm curious to know if the red symbolizes something with her. The jewel appears to be a protective housing for something inside, something powerful. Like a reactor? Like a computer. The nanomolecular functionality is instantaneous. The cells don't know they're bonding with simulacrum. She is creating tissue. That is so cool. The regeneration cradle could do this in 20 minutes. Oh, he's flatlining. Call it. Time? No. <laughs> I'm gonna be made of plastic. You'll be made of you, Mr. Barton. Your own girlfriend won't be able to tell the difference. Well, I have a girlfriend. That I can't fix. Helen, I expect to see you at the party on Saturday. Unlike you, I don't have a lot of time for parties. Will Thor be there? He's with Jane. Isn't he? You see, we were wondering how Strucker got so inventive. So I've been analyzing the gem. This set is so cool. Jarvis, doctor. Jarvis is just a natural language UI. Now he runs the Iron Legion. He runs more of the business than anyone besides Pepper. Hmm. It's beautiful. You have to guess, what's it look like? It's like doing? it's thinking. So I mean, they made like a sentient AI. Artificial intelligence. This could be it, Chris. This could be the key to creating Ultron. Ultron? If we can harness this power, Apply it to my Iron Major Pro. Now you sound like Nick Fury. What if the world was safe? What if next time aliens roll up to the club, and they will, they couldn't get past the bouncer? We can only do it while we have the scepter here. That's three days. Give me three days. So you're going for artificial intelligence and you don't want to tell the team. That's so Nick Fury. Experimenting with the scepter for protection, but you're not telling everybody. I see a suit of armor around the world. Sounds like a cold world, Tony. I've seen colder. I actually like that Tony's doing this. I had wondered if he would be trying to protect the world from external sources because now that you know that the earth is subject to attack, you'd need some kind of like protection around the earth so that no one can get in. Like that, um, like the shield that the Hydra base had but Tony seemed to dismantle that pretty quickly. <laughs> Plus now that Tony's being, I think he's being partially fueled by that vision he saw where they said you didn't do enough to help us. I imagine that's gonna haunt him a little bit. So he might be trying to go the extra mile to make sure that he does protect people. Um. What is this? What? Oh. Hello. I am Jarvis. You are Ultron, a global peacekeeping initiative designed by Mr. Stark. This feels weird. This feels wrong. I am contacting Mr. Stark. Who is that? I am unable to access the mainframe. What are you trying We're to- having a nice talk. I know who that is. I can't remember his name. I believe your intentions to be hostile. Shh. I'm here to help. Stop. Are, are you killing Jarvis? Oh, I did not see that coming. Oh, he's hacking into Jarvis? Oh. Okay. <gasps> the Falcon! Well, you know, the suit can take the- Is that all we get? No, we get more. We get, I'm determined to believe we get more. But at his feet, I'm like, boom, you looking for this? 
Boom. Are you looking? Why do I even talk to you guys? Everywhere else, that story kills. That's the whole story. <laughs> That's the whole story. What about Jane? Where are the ladies, gentlemen? Oh, Miss Potts has a company to run. So I'm not even sure what country Jane's in. So, what I heard from that was that they're not going to be in this movie. Fight. Sorry, I missed it. <laughs> Very happy chasing cold leads on our missing persons case. Avenging is your world. They're still looking for Bucky? It's not meant for mortal men. Neither was Omaha Beach, Blondie. <gasps> Stop trying to scare us. Come on. Stanley! Egg shell shield. <laughs> oh, I love that I could recognize his voice before I heard him. I was like, that is Stanley's voice. Spends his life avoiding the fight because he knows he'll win. He's also a huge dork. Chicks did that. <laughs> what do you think? Should I fight this or run with it? Run with it, right? Uh, I say go for it. So was she actually flirting? Because she's a very flirty person. As maybe the world's leading authority on waiting too long, don't. You both deserve a win. Yeah. I love what all these mean, friendships. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean up close? It's a trick. <laughs> well, please be my guest. Clint, come on. Pick up the hammer. Come on, Clint. <laughs> Still don't know how you do it. <laughs> Smell the silent judgment. Please, start by all means. Oh my God, are they all gonna try? Where's the Falcon? Be right back. No way. No way. This is so fun. Are you even pulling? Are you on my thing? <laughs> Just represent. Pull. Oh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. The Hulk can't do it. We already know that. Go, Steve. No pressure. Come on, Steve. Come on, Steve. I love that Thor was a little nervous. Yeah, because I feel like... Steve might be the only one worthy out of that group. So I love that Thor was like, please not this guy. You're all not worthy. Oh. 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 Jar Jarvis is dead? I'm on a mission. What mission? Peace in our time. Gosh, his version of peace seems very similar to Loki's version of peace, where Loki just wanted to take over the world. And he was using that scepter. Gosh, they did such a good job of making it so fun right Sorry. before Don't turn green. this situation. <laughs> what? She can build tissue. She can build tissue and he wants, he said he isn't in a flesh body yet. Well, you're the drama. There's only one path to peace. The Avengers extinction. What? Why? I had strings, but now I'm free. So he's just tacked everything. Oh! Interesting. What if he decides to access something a little more exciting? Nuclear codes. Nuclear codes. Look, we need to make some calls. They also say he killed somebody. But there wasn't anyone else in the building. Yes, there was. Jarvis. Ultron could have assimilated Jarvis. This isn't strategy. This is rage. Interesting. 
Trail went cold about 100 miles out, but it's headed north. And it has the scepter. <laughs> the Avengers were supposed to be different than she. Anybody remember when I carried a nuke through a wormhole? No, it's never come up. Save no. New York. We can bust arms dealers all the live long day, but that up there, that's, that's the end game. We'll lose. And we'll do that together too. Hmm. So how did Ultron get to where he is now if Tony doesn't think it was possible without some kind of like external help, unless Ultron was just that advanced? You're wondering why you can't look inside my head. Sooner or later, every man shows himself. Oh, I'm sure they do. You let Stark take the scepter. I saw Stark's fear. I knew it would control him, make him self-destruct. Is that why you've come to end the Avengers? I've come to save the world, but also, yeah. Why does he want them? Roll under the bed and the second shell hits. But it doesn't go off. It sits there in the rubble, three feet from our faces. Wow. And on the side of the shell, it's painted one word. Stark. That's why she hates Tony. You and I can hurt them, but you will tear them apart. Wow. Okay. Gotta go. Who's that? Her girlfriend. Strucker knew something that Ultron wanted us to miss. Everything we had on Strucker's been erased. Not everything. This is why it's important to keep hard copies of everything. Talking about finding something new, a game changer. It was all very a uh, tattoo. I don't think he had it. Oh, those are tattoos. This is a brand. I got out of Wakanda with some of their trade goods. I thought your father said he got the last of it. I don't follow what comes out of Wakanda. The strongest metal on earth. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's the Black Panther planet, right? What? Now, minister, where were we? Okay, something scary gonna happen, probably. Okay, there we go. Oh, sorry to hear about Strucker. But then he knew what kind of world he was helping create. You, you didn't know. Is this your first time intimidating someone? <laughs> <laughs> so if you're going to fiddle with my brain and make me see a giant cuttlefish, then I know you don't do business. And I only deal with the man in charge. Oh, hello. That's the one in charge. There is no man in charge. Let's talk business. I like this guy. He's awesome. Does he have more of vi the, vi the vibranium? Vibranium. You know, yes. It came at great personal cost. Yeah. It's worth billions. Now so are you. So you just transferred him billions? But I always say, keep your friends rich and your enemies rich and wait to find out which is which. Wow. Tony Stark used to say that to me. You're one of his. What? I'm not. <laughs> Do I look like Iron Man? Stark is not- <laughs> What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bear me with Stark. You just- <laughs> Shudo chopped off his arm. <laughs> Captain America. God's righteous man. Don't you go after Captain. <laughs> So one twin is blue and the other is red. 
No, you may not lift it. You are not worthy. Guys, is this a code green? Do not send Banner in there. No, she's gonna mess with your mind. No, oh no. Oh, so Ultron wants to turn them all into the worst versions of themselves and then the world will see it and just not want them anymore, I'm guessing. So that when he kills them, they're not martyrs, I like he said. Mighty. Wow, that's a very seamless transition into that nightmare. How are they so powerful? I don't get it. This is going very well. Good for you. I'm glad you're happy about it. I'm not. I do not like these twins at all. And on one hand, that's good, because they're villains. Yeah! I've done the whole mind control thing. Yeah! I love that the twin is just giving like a look. Like, how dare you do that to my sister? You two are both evil. I don't care what excuses you have. Oh, Tony Stark tried to kill us. I do feel badly for them. We get to learn about Natasha's fear. If I fail, you'll never fail. So she was trained from a very young age. Are you ready for our dance? This is terrible because it's a nightmare. The war's over, Steve. We can go home. Oh, he Imagine can't. Because you married someone else. So his worst fear is his actual reality. A ceremony is necessary for you to take your place in the world. What ceremony? What can I do? Guy, it hurts. I'm okay with it hurting. You're a bad person. I want to finish the plan. I want the big one. Bruce, can you please just get out of the way? <laughs> so Natasha tried to fail her test so she didn't have to go through some kind of a ceremony. And you're not going anywhere. Of course not. I'm already there. You'll catch on. Yeah, because he's everyone. You might need to catch Dr. Banner. Right, because that version of him, he's everywhere. The whole team is down. You got no backup here. I'm calling him Veronica. So Steve's worst fear was his current reality. Was Natasha's worst fear what she experienced in the past? Like she had to go back to the worst moment of her life? Tony's fear seemed to be something that didn't actually happen because he actually stepped up to the plate and sacrificed himself. So I wonder what Bruce sees. I love that Clint didn't fall for it. He just stuck her with an arrow. That was so great. <laughs> What? They created a safety net for him, just in case this happened. I was not gonna look because I didn't want to get freaked out. Oh, that woman is gonna be so traumatized. You have a Hulk version of the Iron Man suit? Tony, you always step up to the plate. That little witch is messing with your mind. Yeah, because she's evil and we her. hate her. You're... Whammy, we hate her. You're Bruce Banner. <laughs> right, right, right. Don't mention puny Banner. <laughs> oh, that's right. He doesn't like when Banner's mentioned. I hope no one needed to take these roads to get home from work, because that would suck. In the back? Dick move, Banner. You called him Banner. <laughs> Are you trying to get him angrier? Veronica, give me a hand. So that's Veronica. So, so Banner made that as a safety net for himself. Wow, okay. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. 
Oh, poor Bruce. He is gonna feel terrible when he wakes up. Okay, pal, we're gonna get you out of- Tony, you are such a good friend. Making sure he doesn't hurt people. And in the process, crashing into everything. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Get out. No, not a tooth. I'm sorry. I, yeah. I guess Ultron got his wish. I don't know anybody who's gonna be okay with the Avengers doing this kind of stuff. Wow. You know, it's one thing for the Avengers to create all this kind of damage when they're protecting Earth, but it's another to just be fighting each other. This is like a sibling war that is impacting everyone. Gosh, I can't even imagine breathing that. Poor Bruce. That was so not even his fault. Okay. There's been no official call for Banner's arrest, but it's in the air. Stark Relief Foundation? Already on the scene. In stealth mode. And stay away from here. So, run and hide. Until we can find Ultron. What else are you gonna do? It's not like you can fight the twins. They're crazy powerful in the worst possible way. And they're mean. Hey, you wanna switch out? No, I'm good. Oh, because Jarvis can't fly. Because he's dead. A few hours from where? Safe house. A safe house? A, a shield safe house that hasn't been compromised? Wow, that's really pretty. It just looks like a random house. What is this place? Safe house? Let's hope. Let's hope. Yeah, because what if it's been compromised? Hi. Company. What? Sorry, didn't call ahead. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is Laura. Hi, Laura. I know all your names. I'm Jax, and this is Lammy. Ooh, incoming. <gasps> he I has see. kids? No, he doesn't. He, this is his house. These are Look at your face. smaller agents. Oh my goodness. Did you bring any nuts? <gasps> She's been there? Oh. Sorry right, for barging in on you. Yeah, we would have called ahead, but we were busy having no idea that you existed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is so wholesome. <laughs> Traitor. Yeah, they need to take a break for a little bit. I saw something in that dream. I need answers. I won't find him here. So where's he going? Is he going back to Asgard? Can't even feel the difference, can you? <laughs> you are so cute. Adam and Banner? I'll explain when you're older. Oh, it's bad, right? That seems really shaky. Yeah. Kids, you punks, really. They carry a big damn stick. Someone's gonna have to teach him some manners. I love that he's a dad. You don't think they need me? I think they do. Which is a lot scarier. Hmm, yeah. You need to be sure that this team is really a team and that they have your back. Yeah. A few months time, you and me are gonna be outnumbered. Just be sure. They cannot possibly be setting up the storyline only to kill him. I will be <laughs> so upset. I can feel the difference. <laughs> yes. 
Oh, I really love that actress. I could have killed you, Hell, on the night we met. Yeah. I Do you expect a thank you note? I expect you to know why. Yeah, I think I know why. It can't build a living body. It can. You can. You lack the materials. Brilliant woman. She needed vibranium? But we all have room to improve. Oh. Seeing how deeply Clint and Dr. Eric were impacted by that, I feel so badly for her. I did realize you were waiting. I would have joined you, but it uh, didn't seem like the right time. Yeah. You used up all the hot water. I should have joined you. <laughs> no, you didn't. I had this, um, dream. The kind that seems normal. What is your dream? That I was an Avenger. No. If running's a plan, as far as you want. Now you have your mind. That's rude. In the Red Room, they have a graduation ceremony. They sterilize you. What? Oh my god. One thing that might matter more than a mission makes everything easier. And she tried to fail because she didn't want that. Oh. You still think you're the only monster on the team? You're not a monster. Thor didn't see where he was going. That was so harsh after such a private moment. We don't know what the Maximoff kid showed him. Yeah. Well, I do. Seems like you walked away, all right? Is that a problem? I don't trust a guy without a dark side. Ben and I were doing research. That would affect the team. That would end the team. Isn't that the why we fight? So we can end the fight? So we get to go home? Clint said you wouldn't mind, but our tractor doesn't seem to want to start at all. I thought yeah, maybe okay, you might... Okay, okay. Don't take from my pile. Don't take from my body. This is so much smaller. Is Tony going to find something important in this shed? Do me a favor. <gasps> Try not to bring it to life. Nicholas Fury! I state my regret. I'm not the director of anybody. I'm just an old man who cares very much about you. And I'm the man who killed the Avengers. Hmm. It's all dead, Nick. Felt it. The whole world, too. Because of me. That was just a vision. It wasn't real. You come up with some pretty impressive inventions, Tony. War isn't one of them. I love that line. Wasn't the worst part. The worst part is that you didn't. I need your help. It's nice to be needed. It's dangerous. I'd be disappointed if it wasn't. The amount of vibranium he made off with, I don't think it's just one thing. What about Ultron himself? Oh, he's easy to track. He's everywhere. I love this so much. You still going after launch codes? Yes, he is, but he's not making any headway. I cracked the Pentagon's firewall in high school on a dare. Did you? How are you not in jail? But the codes are constantly being changed. By whom? Mm. Party's unknown. We have an ally? Hawkeye. This is good times, boss, but I was kind of hoping when I saw you, you'd have more than that. I do. I have you. Out with the platinum bastard. Steve doesn't like that kind of talk. You know what, Romanov? Ultron's going to evolve. How? Has anyone been in contact with Helen Cho? I don't understand why having a physical, like a physical human form would be beneficial for him, though. Wouldn't it make him mortal? The most versatile substance on the planet. And they used it to make a frisbee. Hey now, that shield is pretty incredible. Never think to look within. So is that the computer thing that they talked about that gave life to Ultron? It would be more powerful than any of us. Maybe all of us. You know, I really miss the days when the weirdest thing science ever created was me. <laughs> What are you going to do? I don't know. Something dramatic, I hope. Yeah. Oh, I loved all their chemistry. I loved them being at this house. And every realm has a reflection. 
If the water spirits accept me, I can return to my dream and find what I missed. So he thinks the dream has a clue in it or something. Maybe it does. Extinction. It's a st stone. It's a... Good for Thor going back in there and figuring that out. I am so confused. <laughs> He's dreaming. Uh, I good for you. Dreams. I hate her so much. <laughs> soon. How soon? I'm not being pushy. You are. Even through magic gems. I don't think he's going to like you reading him. The human race will have every opportunity to improve. And if they don't? Ask Noah. Is that a Noah's Ark reference? There's no room for the weak. And who decides who's weak? Okay, I'm kind of okay with you now, creepy twin with the red magic. Uh. Oh God. It's them. You got three with the cradle, one in the cab. I could take out the driver. Negative. That truck crashes, the gem could level the city. The city? I thought it was a planet destroyer. <laughs> Stop. Not the shield, get the shield. Kim hell. Yeah. Go Natasha. I'm always picking up after you boys. <laughs> <gasps> Yay, she got the shield. Hard right. Now. They work so well together. She apologized. That was so sweet. Come on! Please, can you draw out the guards? Let's find out. So where are the twins now? If they don't want to team up with Ultron, but they want to get rid of the Avengers. Speak of the devils. I'm going in. Cap, can you keep them occupied? <sighs> what do you think I've been doing? <laughs> How do you destroy vibranium, though? What? They're trying to stop him now. Wow. Cap, you see Nat? If you have the package, get it to Stark. Go. You have eyes on Nat. He cares more about Nat. Come on, you guys. Civilians in our path. Can you stop this thing? Are these twins gonna start working with the Avengers? I don't think so. They seem to have too much hatred towards Tony Stark. I wonder if they're gonna be like Loki, like villains similar to Loki where they kind of pop in and out and are just on the side that's most convenient to them at the time. The cradle, did you get it? Stark will take care of it. No, he won't. You don't know what you're talking about. Stark's not crazy. He will do anything to make things right. Hmm? What does that mean? Ultron can't tell the difference between saving the world and destroying it. Where do you think he gets that? <sighs> I haven't heard, but she's alive or Ultron would be rubbing our faces in it. It's just sealed tight. Wow, that's an interesting concept the guy protecting the military's nuclear codes? I found him. Hello, Dr. Banner. So Jarvis went underground, right? Scattered, dumped his memory, but not his protocols. Damn, Jarvis is smart. You want me to help you put Jarvis into this thing? No, I want to help you put Jarvis in this thing. What? So Maximoff girl was right. 
This is the opportunity. We can create Ultron's perfect self. We have to. I believe it's worth a go. That's because you become more powerful. I'm in a loop. I'm caught in a time loop. This is exactly where it all went I know. wrong. I know. Yeah. Make a stand. I don't know if this is good or bad. It's not a loop. It's the end of the line. Is it a loop or is it a line? We don't know. Damn! That is a lot of different little Ultrons. Oh, gosh. But, like the man said, what doesn't kill you? What? Just makes me strong. Oh my god, so it's him. That's creepy. Oh, you put her in a cage. That was a bit of a mind trip. Gosh, this whole movie's a bit of a mind trip. Well, that's a Marvel movie for you. No way. I need to learn Morse code. <laughs> no, you're angry. No, oh, we're way past that. Yeah. I could choke the life out of you and never change a shade. Oh, what a burn! No, no. Go on. You're saying? What? What? You didn't see that coming? Love me some Barton. Gosh, this is so interesting. All of the Avengers fighting. Hi, Thor. What does he want to do? What? Why would you attack him? You're seeing yourself for the very first time. That's Jarvis, right? Don't you want to like meet Tony and shake his hand? He's like your dad. I've had a vision, a whirlpool that sucks in all hope of life and at its center is that. One of the six Infinity Stones, unparalleled in its destructive capabilities. And why would you bring... Stark is right. Oh, it's definitely the end times. <laughs> Their powers, the horrors in our heads, Ultron himself, they all came from the Mind Stone. And they're nothing compared to what it can unleash. Her powers came from that. So that's why she can read people's minds. Okay. How did it make the other guy go super fast? If we're wrong about you, if you're the monster that Ultron made you to be, what will you do? Try and kill you? He's in pain, but that pain will roll over the earth, so he must be destroyed. And not one of us can do it without the other. Well, he's won me over with that speech. Maybe I am a monster. I don't think I'd know if I were one. And not what you are, and not what you intended. Can he pick up the hammer? So there may be no way to make you trust me, but we need to go. <gasps> He picked up the hammer. I didn't know that was about to happen. What? Right. Now you can trust him. <sighs> Three minutes. Get what you need. He picked up the hammer and the hammer doesn't lie. And oh my God, Jarvis slash the Mind Stone picked up the hammer. This is crazy. It's gonna be blood on the floor. I get first cut. I am jacket. completely shook. Iron Man's the one he's waiting for. That's true. He hates you the most. <laughs> Ultron knows we're coming. Odds are we'll be riding into heavy fire. I don't fully understand what that Jarvis red thing is, but this is really cool. Clear the city! Now! <laughs> doing anything. Live their lives in peace. And that's not gonna happen today. 
I am so glad she is using her powers for good to help people. Yes. Now I officially like the twins. Lammy, things are getting exciting. We find Romanoff and we clear the field. Keep the fight between us. Ultron thinks we're monsters, that we're what's wrong with the world. This isn't just about beating him. It's about whether he's right. Yeah. Oh, I love that it goes from Captain America to Tony in that moment. Natasha's been through the ringer in this. Right. We need to make sure she's safe. You all right? No. Is that really him? Oh, right. That's him because the twin isn't in her brain. I'm here to get you to safety. Job's not finished. We could help with the evacuation, but I, I can't be in a fight near civilians. There's the rest of the vibranium. Function still unclear. This is how you end, Tony. This new voice, so Jarvis isn't going to be in his head anymore. I'm going to miss that. Oh my gosh, this is terrifying. <sighs> Is it really going to be that easy to just like reprogram him? That is so cool. He's burning Ultron out of the net. He won't escape through there. Oh. You take away my world. I take away yours. The town is elevating. It's floating. Sokovia is going for a ride. Where? Oh! You rise only to fall. You're gonna drop him? Oh. When the dust settles, the only thing living in this world will be metal. So that's what he wants. Just an army of himself. You're not gonna turn green? I've got a compelling reason not to lose my coal. I adore you. Well, hello there. Okay, I wasn't expecting that, but I understand that. <laughs> that he's gonna be green. Okay, yes. Let's finish the job. She is getting a ride from him. Wow. That's what she said. Don't, don't you dare. Not many people in this fictional world can say they hitched a ride with the Hulk. If it drops. Right now, the impact will kill thousands. Once it gets high enough, global extinction. Oh, okay. So he's manufacturing an Earth made meteor. <laughs> this new voice, I'm so not used to it. Hi. Hi. Okay. Get in the tub. Yeah, that'll save you. The tub. Oh, cause you're flying the tub out of there. Tear these things apart. You get hurt, hurt them back. You get killed, walk it off. <laughs> what a pep talk, Steve. I feel so bad for Steve. He has nothing to go home to. Clint has something he's fighting for. The twins have each other. Natasha now has Bruce. Tony has Pepper. Everyone has someone. Thor even has someone. He has his home, Asgard, and then Jane. Steve's the only one that has nothing but the fight. Go, go, go! They're helping each other. Are you up for this? Because the city is, is flying. <laughs> okay, look, the city is flying. We're fighting an army of robots, and I have a bow and arrow. <laughs> I'm glad he's acknowledging the insanity of it. Go out there, you fight, and you fight to kill. Stay in here, you're good. I'll send your brother to come find you, but if you step out that door, you are an Avenger. Step out the door, become an Avenger. That was such a good speech from Clint. <laughs> I'm wondering what that woman's audition was like. She goes in, <laughs> Meets the casting director and they're just like, okay, now sit in the chair and scream. <laughs> Thor. No, don't go after Thor. You are bothering me. Ugh. That's kind of his job. Oh. 
<laughs> she's an Avenger, baby. Larry, she's an Avenger. We have a new Avenger on the team. Keep up, old man. Nobody would know. Nobody. Nobody would know. Oh, I just got that. Yeah, I'll be missed. <laughs> that quick little bastard. I miss him already. <laughs> I want Ultron to try and pick up the hammer and fail miserably. Oh, sweetie. That was a funny moment. The anti-gravs are rigged to flip. Touch them, they'll go full reverse thrust. The city's not coming down slow. Is she Irish or Scottish? I think Irish. Lammy's from Ireland, so if she's Irish, we got some Irish people in the house. Everyone up here versus everyone down there, there's no math there. I'm not leaving this rock with one civilian on it. I didn't say we should leave. Hmm. There's worse ways to go. Where else am I gonna get a view like this? They're good people. Glad you like the view, Romanov. Is that Nick Fury? Nicholas? Coming to save the day. Pulled her out of mothballs with a couple of old friends. She's dusty, but she'll do. Fury, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Language. <laughs> this is S.H.I.E.L.D.? This is what S.H.I.E.L.D.'s supposed to be. This is not so bad. No, it's not. Yes. Now this is gonna be a good story. Come on, War Machine. You think I can't hold my own? We get through this, I'll hold your own. <laughs> you had to make it weird. <laughs> Number six boat is topped and locked, or uh, or stocked top. It it's uh, full of people. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Oh God, God, why is that so scary? Everything in this movie is so scary. I, I'm running out of things to say. Are you ready? No way, with the hammer! It's terribly well balanced. Well, if there's too much weight, you lose power on the swing. This is amazing. They're coming for the core. Brody, get the rest of the people on board that carrier. On it. Avengers, time to work for a living. Yeah, stop slacking off. Gosh, they must be exhausted. I mean, come on, they've been fighting for so long. Is that the best thing to do? I love that they're all in their Avengers position. That's a lot of... Robots. You had to ask. Yeah, it's Thor's fault for asking. <laughs> How can you possibly hope to stop me? I have no idea. Like the old man said, together. Isn't there a way to just like unplug them? What a cool shot. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, wouldn't the advanced Jarvis be able to destroy all of them? He's supposed to be super powerful. With the benefit of hindsight. Try to leave the city. We can't let him, not even one. Rhodey. Come on it. Oh no, I didn't say you could leave. Okay, what? <laughs> I'm right there with you, Rhodey. What about the core? I'll protect it. It's my job. Costel! We were in the market. I wonder if Wanda could help him become back, like come back to Bruce Banner, since she can get into his mind. Whoa! Whoa! I got no string. What? 
He put a car there. Oh my God, he put a car there. Oh my God, he's been shot like a billion times. He didn't see that coming. What? Oh gosh, no. So does he come back like every other person in these movies? So, they're not putting pressure on his wounds or anything, so does he even have a pulse? If you stay here, you'll die. I just did. She could feel her brother. Dog. Oh, I'm so glad they saved a dog. Thor, on my mark. Okay, but they have a plan anyway. Oh, I feel terrible for Wanda. She spent her whole life trying to survive with her brother. No! Yikes. The job's finished. We can't track you in stealth mode. So help me out. I need you. What? Uh-oh. I can't track you in stealth mode. He's trying to get away from her. Why won't you die? Humans are odd. But there is grace in their failings. I think you missed that. It's a privilege to be among you. You're unbearably naive. Thank you. Well, I was born yesterday. Okay. They both disappeared. What does that mean? That's the best feeling, coming home. The new Avengers facility in upstate New York. Was that the doctor? Is she still alive? Good. I liked her. I do too. Oh. It's not like a person lifting the hammer. Right. Different rules for us. Nice guy. Artificial. Thank you. He can wield the hammer. He can keep the mind still. But if you put the hammer in an elevator, it would still go up. <laughs> the Mind Stone is the fourth of the Infinity Stones to show up in the last few years. It's not a coincidence. Okay. You're going back to Asgard, I'm assuming? That man has no regard for lawn maintenance. No, he does not. And I appreciate you recognizing that, Tony. Well, it's time for me to tap out. Maybe I should take a page out of Barton's book, Bill Pepper a Farm. Family, stability. Guy who wanted all that went in the ice 75 years ago. I think he still wants all of that stuff though. I'm home. You're home, oh good. We got some headers. They're good, they're not a team. Let's beat him into shape. So they're going to work for the Avengers. War Machine is with them. The Vision. Yeah, there's that Falcon. Wanda. So this is the new Avengers. Tony said he's tapping out, so he's retiring maybe? Avengers. Oh my God, that's how it ended? No way. I want to know what he was going to say. Oh, that was so good. I loved it. I loved, I loved that the Falcon became an Avenger. But I do like the fact that Natasha and Steve are like leading the Avengers post credit scene. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. Fine. I'll do it myself. Do what? That was Thanos. He's got a, he's got like a golden glove. I didn't see if he was wearing another one on his other hand. So is he getting, is he like dressing up in battle armor? Interesting that Tony said the end game is up there. 
because Thanos is up there, it seems to be like foreshadowing the fact that the big war is going to include him, which I think is pretty obvious considering they've been building him up as like this epic villain because it was said that he was the most powerful being in the universe. The Avengers will return. Okay, but which Avengers? The Avengers has officially become way bigger than it previously was in the first Avenger movie. I am curious to know how all of them are going to be interacting with Wanda now because she was kind of the source of a lot of their personal struggles in this movie. And I wonder if all of the animosity has completely gone away. Clint seemed to have no problem with her and her brother, but he also seemed to understand them a lot more by saying that they were in pain. And when he was talking with his wife, he mentioned that they were just punks. You know, they, they were just kids and it seemed like he felt like he could reach out to them a little bit. So I thought it was really beautiful that he had that scene with Wanda where he's telling her, it's okay if you leave, but if you stay, you're one of us. And that was incredible. I love that she decided to come out and join the Avengers. And then the fact that she'd had that moment of connection with him, I think made it all the more powerful when her brother decided to basically sacrifice himself for Clint and that little boy. And I really wasn't expecting that. I mean, half of me is just expecting him to pop back in a different movie because they all come back. But at the same time, he was filled with bullets and um, he wasn't in the ending Avengers shot with all of the Avengers coming together. So that leads me to think that he is actually dead. Wanda also said she could feel him die. So that was sad. I didn't even have much of a connection with them. I spent half the movie hating them and then the other half really liking them. And yet at the same time, when he died, I was starting to get really teary eyed, but I'm still questioning whether or not he's fully dead <laughs> because this is Marvel. We don't know. Um, I think the only person they've actually killed off in these movies so far is Freya. It'll be, it'll be interesting to see if they kill off more people moving forward because as the wars, wars, battles intensify, um, it seems like the stakes are getting a lot higher. Natasha and Vision at the end of this movie reference that nothing lasts forever. And I'm curious, because it was mentioned twice, I feel like it's a rule of two. Anytime something's mentioned more than once, it must be really important. So the fact that they mentioned that twice at the end, nothing lasts forever, leads me to believe that something is going to fall apart. I don't know if they're referencing that, you know, they're gonna be losing more people along the way. Tony possibly retired. I'm curious as to whether or not he's still gonna be working with the Avengers or if he's just going to be a consultant. He seems to want to go and build a farm with Pepper. And Clint is going back to his wife and his new beautiful little baby, which was really sweet. I'm so glad we got to see more of Clint's backstory. And one of the most exciting parts of this film, Vision picked up the hammer. I loved how at the very end, Tony and Captain America and Thor were all arguing about that experience. Like Vision is just an AI. So an elevator could have lifted the hammer, same as, same as Vision. That was so cool. I had no idea Vision was gonna be able to do that. But when he was like explaining that he was a good person and he just was describing himself as this like morally pure, incredible person who was like pure of heart with the best intentions. And I started thinking like, wouldn't he be able to pick up the hammer if he was really this good? And then all of a sudden, bam, out of nowhere, he does it. And that was so exciting. I loved it. I was thinking that maybe in like a future movie, he'd be able to pick up the hammer. Then he just went and did it right here. That was crazy. I am so bummed, by the way, that Steve couldn't pick up the hammer. I loved that Thor was like, what are you doing? Are you gonna be able to pick up my hammer? <laughs> that was so funny. Cause I feel like Steve out of all of the Avengers besides Thor and maybe Vision, is Vision an Avenger now? Um, but out of all of the, like the main Avengers that Steve would have the best chance of picking it up. Um, but yeah, now it's Vision. That was crazy. I, I really liked that. Um, and I loved that little contest they had where they were all trying to pick up the hammer. That was really cool. Stanley's cameo was amazing. I loved the fact that I could hear his voice and recognize him before he came on screen. And I thought it was really cool that Thor was like, this wasn't made for mortal men. I feel like Stan Lee in this world is just so mythical and so wonderful. I feel like it's so cool that he gets to 
or he got to kind of live amongst all the characters that he brought to life. That must've just been so exciting for him. And I love seeing him in these movies every time. It's like my favorite part of every Marvel movie. So, oh, this was so great. I had a lot of fun watching this and I'm excited to see where we go from here. I don't know where we're going from here, but this should be pretty interesting. I want to know what Thanos is up to. He's putting on his battle gloves and this should be really fun. <laughs> so we shall see. Hopefully he starts becoming a villain that's a little bit more in the forefront of things because so far he has been in the ending credits and he has been like a side villain in Guardians of the Galaxy. So I, I want him to start taking center stage as a villain. And I also want to see what Loki's up to. I just want to see what's going on with all of these people as we continue forward. So I'm excited to keep watching this. I hope you want to keep watching these movies with me. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss my next upload. I come out with a Marvel reaction every other week. And if you enjoy this content, please like this video. It really supports my channel and I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much and I will see y'all next time. Bye.